Good morning, and welcome to Awake in the Dawn. It's interesting in the Word of God that the word shepherd is referred to so much in relation to uh, God wanting to care for us as his sons and daughters. Um, I mean, I suppose he could have used as an example of wanting to be our caretaker, uh, our guide, our comforter. He could have used some, the equivalent of a CEO, if you will, during biblical times. But he didn't. He chose a shepherd. He chose a very odd thing, a very humble thing, in order to express his heart toward us as his sons and daughters. And he says, I, I want to be your caretaker. I want to watch over you. I want you to be able to look up on the hillside and know that I'm there, know what you're going through, know that I am your provider, your protector. Uh, I want to be the shepherd of your heart. I want to be the shepherd of your soul, Jesus says. And there is no personality, there is no system or organization from the world that can get anywhere close to caring for your heart and your soul and your mind like your great shepherd, Jesus Christ. Let him shepherd your heart. Shepherd of my soul you're the lover of my heart Your sacrifice brought light and life You breathe your hope in me With this bread and cup I will honor you and give thanks with all my heart with this bread and cup I remember you are the shepherd of my heart shepherd of Savior of my soul, you're the righteousness in me, your flawless love, redeeming grace, dawn new life in me with this bread. I will honor you and give thanks with all my heart. With this bread and cup, I remember you are the shepherd of my heart. With this bread.
thank you again for joining me this morning for Awake in the Dawn. Please, I encourage you to go to awakenthedawn.com. Take a look at the ministry tools that we have available for you.